Hello everyone, this is Jig, and I'm finally going to get around to showing you how to make a your own test world. So let's do this. First you want to go single player, create a new world. Let's name it something super original, test world. Now we want it on creative because this is our test world, and you press create. Now it's going to generate some land. This stuff isn't really important what you come up with. Uh, ideally you want a big desert so it will never rain in your test world. Uh, but I think really the only thing you don't want is snow because snow sucks. Uh, so we're not in snow. That's good. Let's uh, fly around for a little bit. And when you fly around, you generate land. Now you can do this as big or as small as you like. We're in a... Uh, Swamp is that clay and I get distracted way too easily. Oh, it is look at all this Look at all this clay. I guess uh, Swamps have lots of clay in them. There's like pockets of it everywhere What seed is this? Oops, I just pressed Unrecord what seed is that for that I press F3 there we go um, 16, 12, blah, 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 lots of numbers. All right, uh, so you just generate a whole bunch of land, and once you're done that, you go into MC Edit. So I think, I think I've generated enough land now. I think that's going to be a big enough test world for me. So let's go into MC Edit. Uh, so now we opened up a program called MC Edit. There'll be a link in the description to get it. Now we want to open the world. And we called this one Test World. So we'll go to Test World. Uh, looks like I made two. It's that one anyway. You just open the world that you made. So here is our Swamp Biome World. And all that checkered area is where it is. Now get your mouse. Go to one corner, click and drag, so you've got this big box. And now you have selected a nice big area. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. We're going to delete the land. Nudge makes the box bigger or smaller. So you can see in this corner here, there's a blue box. You can see in the other corner, there's a yellow box. So if we press the blue box and press nudge up or down with Q or A, sorry, Q or Z is up or down. Uh, we want to nudge the yellow box up so it covers all of the trees. Next you press delete. That deletes all of those chunks. Uh, sorry, all of the blocks in those chunks. So this is going to just lag for a little while while it does that. Because we're deleting a lot of blocks. Now that we've done this, we've got this giant hole all the way to down here. Oh, right where the bedrock is. That was actually uh, kind of good. Convenient. Okay, now that we've done that, we want to lower the top. Oh, and there's a mine shaft over here, too. Look at that. Uh, so now we want to lower the top. So where's our yellow dot? The yellow dot is the top. So grab that, press Z. And now we still have the same selected area. Now this depends obviously how high you want. I'm going to do it about there. So we have, it's still deep enough so that we can dig out lots of stuff. But it's not, uh, it's not too shallow for that. And now we're going to press fill and replace. And we're going to look for sandstone. There it is. Sandstone. Okay fill. Now that's replacing all of this selected area with sandstone. Slowly but surely. Okay, so now we have sandstone. So we, the reason we use sandstone is because sandstone, I guess, doesn't really matter anymore because in creative it has the one hit, um, the one hit to destroy the block. But sandstone was the fastest, but it's also a really good contrast against the redstone and um, 
circuits and stuff so that's why I use sandstone because the fastest and it's a good contrast so now that we've done that let's have a look back in Minecraft and see what our test world looks like just you gotta make sure you save it so when you press quit it will say there are two unsaved changes the deleting and the creation of sandstone you press save and quit and then it will save it now when we go into single player have a look at our test world it should be nice and testy. Here it is. Now you have to be careful. See how the uh, the clouds and stuff sort sort of start fading in. That's because we're pretty low to the bedrock level. So if we dig down a couple of blocks, you'll see the darkness is going to start closing in on us. Whoa. Weird, it's not as dark as it used to be. I swear, normally it's really dark. Anyway, that's, uh, <laughs> that's completely not the point of this tutorial. Uh, the point of this tutorial was to... Oh, look. See, it looks like we didn't go high enough. Now we have a little ledge here. I guess it'd be a nice viewing platform. Really? Yeah. One thing to keep notice of, actually, because... I really like that you can, like, look into the cave. Sorry, one thing to keep notice of, because now you have... You've cut out this giant landmass... If you ever have water on the side here and you build next to it, so let's say you put a block here and then you delete it, the water starts flowing out. And it's even worse when it's on the same level as it because it will just keep spreading. So if we have a look at this one here, and let's say your test world was this high and you placed a block here and then destroyed it, Huh. Never mind, I'm just talking crap. Oh, I know why. Okay, let's let's try that again. <laughs> it's because the water is just flowing out to that one spot. Okay. We'll make a little platform here to simulate simulate this being the floor of the test world. I, this happened to me all the time on mine, and it got really frustrating actually, so that's why I figure it's important to see it. Okay, now we've got this big platform, it should work. Basically, if a block updates next to here, it will uh, flow out. So if we put one there, and then it all it will all flow out. Obviously, it's not going to because of these damn side blocks. Actually, one thing that's really cool, uh, if you use a sponge, and I'm sure there's a way you can do something cool with this. If you use a sponge, and you place it or destroy it near water, it will all update at the same time. Well, like in a certain area around it. So when I delete this, look, that whole wall updated. That's really cool. I'm sure there's a way you can do this, like long distance, uh, long distance electronics. Check this out. So, if you get rid of this, we're, how far is it going to update? Four blocks away from it. Huh. So, one, two, three. So this one should update too then. No, just three, I guess. But anyway, that's um, completely getting sidetracked. That's how you make a test world. So now you know, now you can make one. And uh, the link is in the description for MC Edit. It's a very cool program with lots of awesome... Oh, there's a dungeon over here. Sorry, I have to, I have to end this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you leave a like. And, ah, uh, this is, damn it. <laughs> anyway, bye.